Good morning guys, happy show day. I cannot believe the day is finally here. It is my first show of the season today. So I got a really, really good night's sleep last night. Um, and I woke up to a new low, a 51.9. I cannot believe I hit a new low. Really funny story. I was dreaming about weighing myself, like that's how weird it was so yeah i woke up to a new low put my bikini on then i took a check-in for dylan and so far it is like my favorite check-in i've ever sent ever in my life i cannot believe this is me i'll insert pictures on the screen right now i cannot believe that is me like i am i'm shook also the tan got a lot darker overnight i don't think you guys can tell um so I had like a small glass of water because I need to limit my water. I think it's like one liter until like 12 or something like that. So I had a small glass of water and I curled my hair. You can't see it's in a bun, but I curled my hair this morning because I can't trust anyone with my hair. So I curled my hair this morning and then yeah, that's basically it. So I'm going to get a coffee, go back to the Airbnb, do some work because I have to do a lot of client work today and stuff. Uh, my shoulder is hurting from holding the camera up, so I just saw another Oompa Loompa Tan girl walking down the street. That's when you know there's a show happening. Maidenhead is so small, so it's like everyone at 7 a.m. on the streets are just like tan. So yeah, that is the vibe. I feel so good. I feel so fucking good and happy, and I just can't wait to step on stage. So I'm gonna um, go get my coffee, and I'll catch you guys later. <laughs> So back in the Airbnb with my Americano, that bakery looked so nice. They had no vegan stuff though, so I can't go after my show, but their coffee is really nice. I added a hundred mils of almond milk in here, having my show day lotus biscuit as well. And I'm just gonna crack on with some work now because my makeup's not for like another four hours. So might as well just get some shit done. All right guys, so like this is literally the extent to how accurate we're doing things today. I'm literally weighing my water to make sure I'm having the exact amount. So Dylan said that like with meal one, I can have a total of 40 ounces, which is like just over one liter of water. I had a bit this morning and then I had my black coffee, which was obviously included in the fluids. So I've got about 500 mils left. I'm just gonna pour myself about 200 now before I have meal number one. So yeah, this is the extent to which we are doing things today. Super accurate. And I'm gonna actually have my creatine. Um, with this water because Dylan said to have creatine even on show day. It does make your muscles pop and look full. So I'm gonna be adding some creatine. I'm gonna be adding some creatine and some glutamine to this glass of water. And then I'm gonna make my first meal and I'll show you guys what that is. <laughs> Thank you. 
right, you guys, so this is meal number one. We have 120 grams of strawberries, one cinnamon raisin bagel thin, 17 grams of the Jim Jams vegan chocolate spread. I've got my omegas that I'm gonna be taking right there. So you guys will notice today there is no protein. Protein slows down digestion, so just for like, you know, show day, we're not having any protein. Obviously, after the show, I'll try and have some sort of protein. I have a protein bar and some protein powder, but this is meal number one. It is currently 9.30. I'm going to tuck into this, and I will catch you guys later. Cheers, guys. My favorite thing in the world on show day. Oh, look at that chocolate all over my face when I eat this. I look like an actual Oompa Loompa. This is very nice. I'm gonna enjoy this. Catch you guys probably at my makeup appointment. All right guys, so I am just packing up to go to my makeup and then the venue. So we have both my bikinis in here. Um, I've got my, obviously my current one and a backup one, my heels, fucked in our rice cakes, popcorn for post-show, lol. My tripod, some hairspray, my Jim Jam spread, almond butter, got some salt somewhere in there. And then on this side, I packed, like just something to sit down on backstage. I have my curling iron, my straightening iron, a book. I also brought my journal because I think I'm going to be backstage for a while and I've got some resistance bands in there as well. So... I'm going to pack all of this and then I'm going to get an Uber to the travel lodge in Maidenhead because that's where Danielle is for my makeup and then I will show you guys the makeup look. I'm a bit nervous about makeup purely because I hate it, but we'll see. <laughs> Makeup is now done. I love it. Like, I actually really, really love this. Like, thank you to Danielle. I'll put her Instagram in the description. So, this is the final look for my makeup, and I love it. And I'm kind of late for meal number two. I was meant to have it at 12:30. It's 12:53, just because makeup ran a bit late. But meal number two is literally just carbs. I'm gonna have four snack -a jack caramel rice cakes, and I need to have just under a liter of water. So, I'm still at the Travel Lodge Hotel where. Um, Danielle does makeup. I'm gonna just sit down here, chill, eat this, and then I've got my tan in 30 minutes. I'm gonna eat this as fast as I can, get an Uber to the venue, and then I'll catch you guys when I'm backstage. I'm literally just sat in like a hotel hallway eating rice cakes on the floor. <laughs> right guys, so we are at the venue. They have this really nice like cafe in the venue. So I'm just chilling here having my pre-stage meal. So I'm gonna have two caramel rice cakes and 20 grams of Jim Jam's chocolate spread as well as some salt for a pump and like some sips of water. So I'm gonna make this, eat it, and then catch you guys. I don't know when, I don't know what's happening. I don't know if we're running late or on time. But I'm just gonna eat this now because I'm scheduled to eat it now and I'll catch you guys later. Alright guys, so we are now backstage, bikini reveal. I got this blue bikini. This year I went for blue instead of red. I'm just gonna pump up now. I think we're gonna be on stage in like 30 minutes-ish. So Dylan said to just pump up my shoulders, which I feel like are quite small. So I'm gonna pump them up like crazy. And then 
hit the stage, I guess. I am not going to give my vlogging camera to Heine or to Adams because I don't want to have to go around the entire venue and give them my vlogging camera. So I'll try and get stage footage for you guys. So this vlog might be a bit late, but yeah, I'm going to pop up. I have to touch up my lipstick as well. And then I will see you guys when I see you, I guess. In second place, could we please take the award to number 282, Mini Ashra Hughes. Yes, Mini, yes, our so winner, good. going through to the overall, is number yes, 300, Aliyah. Yes. If you give us your favorite bikini pose for the cameraman ladies, squeeze together. And just the winner on our own, please, Alia Mahrez. Well done, Alia. Woo! Alia, you asked me a question backstage. Here's your answer. Thank you. <laughs>
you for the Pepsi Max. Of course. Thank you for Like. Right, guys, so I somehow won my high class. I don't know how, it says first somewhere. Yeah, I was not expecting that because last time I competed, I did not get the result that I wanted. I, when they said, when they called my number first place, I was like, you're joking, like, this is a dream, this is not happening, so that happened, and, uh, yeah, and then the overall, Heine said it was looking like second, right, yeah, and, like, the girl who won the overall, I know, like, how amazing of an athlete she is, so I, I am just, sorry, I'm also multitasking, Heine's trying to airdrop me some stuff, <laughs> sorry. Um, Interrupting the vlog. except, cool, no, it's fine, so, yeah, I don't. I want to just go and chill now, so I'll update you guys some point later. I don't know when, but yeah, I don't know what's happening in this vlog. That's the vibe. I'll catch you guys later. We're back at the Airbnb. I just had a protein bar, a small bag of popcorn, and like a liter of water, and I'm literally full. Like, I'm not super hungry. I just need to go to the store, get some food for tomorrow, because we're staying in this Airbnb tonight, heading back to London tomorrow. I have the busiest day ever tomorrow, but uh, whatever, we move. So I'm going to show you guys some of the post-show noms I have tonight and then do a sit-down recap when I get the chance or the time because I am busy these next couple of days. And yeah, I can't get used to looking at myself with this much makeup on. Danielle smashed it though. Like I love this look, love this look. Oh, I look like a mess. So, I'm gonna take my makeup off like last thing because it's just so nice. I want to keep it on as long as I can. I tried to like rinse off some of the tan. Gonna have to scrub most of it off um, until yeah next show. But I wanted to do a taste test because one of my favorite brands, brand Love Raw, have recently come out with these vegan Ferrero Rocher. Things they they're called nutty chalk balls, milk chalk. So I want to do a taste test for you guys um, today. Oh, the packaging is really nice. It comes in like this gold little. Oops. It comes in this like gold little package thing, which I think is super cute. And I haven't had fur Rocher probably in like twelve years, so I don't even remember what it tastes like. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it looks quite nice. So, you're gonna give this a shot. Let's bite into it. Mm. There's a hazelnut in there. I just ate. I'll see inside. It's like hazelnut cream filling. Very nice. I'd give it like an 8 out of 10. Nothing transcendental. Quite nice though. 9 out of 10. I really like that. <laughs> Alright guys, so the start of the show, a bowl of chocolate protein oats. Of course I prepared this bowl ahead of time. I added a bit of this Jude's low calorie chocolate cookie dough brownie ice cream. And then I melted some Biscoff and drilled it over. And this is honestly heaven. This is my version of a post-show dessert and I can't wait to have it. All right guys, so it is the next day. It is now Sunday, the 28th of August, the day after my show. I am struggling to like find the words to describe how I feel. So I'll do a bit of a recap. Essentially in the juniors class, I came in third. I'm gonna be honest, disagree. Honestly, because if someone deserves to win in general, I do say it like, yeah, they're better than me, but hey. But then I came in first in my open class. And then the girls that did better than me in the juniors class did really bad in their open classes. So I'm just a bit confused. But I was not expecting to come in first in my open class. Like making it to like me in the overall. Like I was not expecting to make the overall. And like 
I remember I was backstage, this was after going on for my height class, and I was talking to Ian, one of the like organizers of the show. He was backstage and I was talking to him. I was like, oh, like, how do I get to the spectators' seats to go watch the overall? Um, Cause I don't want to go around the building because we were backstage. And he was like, why are you asking me this question? What if you're in the overall? And I was like, uh-huh. And then we're about to go back on stage for the awards, right? And we're lining up with the other girls. And this girl, Jade, she's like, I think you've got this one, you know? And I was like, what? No, like they moved me to the side. She was like, no, no, it's just four of us in our high class and you were in the middle, in the middle two. So at that point I was like, oh fuck, I didn't realize. So we go back on stage and at this point I'm like, okay, I'm in the top two and they're calling us out. And I won and I was like, oh. yeah. So I was so happy. And then the overall, I think I came in second or third in the overall cause I was in the, like in the side center. Uh, and then the girl who won, Phoebe Goodwin, she looked incredible. Um, so yeah, I'm really happy with the result. I know I just need to come in tighter next, so I will. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much the update, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will catch you in the next one.